My training's progressing for the London to Brighton ride. The other day I did my favourite ride and put a screenshot from my bike app on Facebook. I got to thinking that it was simply a map with numbers, nothing to explain why I love the ride so much. So this time I made a film instead. The ride starts with a tedious slog up Pound Lane, great when your muscles are cold, then a quick blast along Dorset Way and up to Aldenley Roundabout, then up Belburn Road to the start of Canford Heath. 3.65 miles of mostly going up and on roads. One of the reasons I love this route is I hate riding on roads. So most of this is on the heath. Not too sure about cattle grids though. Here's a good viewpoint. That's the dual carriageway we've just come up. Onwards and upwards. Now this route used to be Lady Wimbledon's private road between her house in Camford Magna and Bournemouth. I covered that in one of my other films. Glorious day today, the heather's out. All you see out here were a few joggers and a few dog walkers and the odd cyclist. You actually might see the odd horse as well. Oh, I hate these things. The last thing I want to see, I've actually got a phobia of cows. At least it's not a bull. Morning. The only blot on the landscape is this ghastly recycling centre in the middle of the heath for no apparent reason. Thankfully, we can bypass it. Now this path goes two ways. Left hand goes down what's called Longfleet Drive to Pool. Right hand goes to Wimborne. Now a couple of years back we actually cut this lot back but it's overgrown to how it used to be again. Actually, it's not as bad, but... Uh... Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. Guess that's one reason I don't like going too fast. It's undignified rather than injury causing. From Belburn Road, it's over Camford Heath on 2.18 miles of glorious trails, past the cows and landfill site to where I fell off, and onto Magna Road. So we've reached Magna Road. And those are the gates of Lady Wimborne's private drive to her house, which is now Camford School. And this is the village of Camford Magna. I always visualised Miss Marple living here. Something to do with thatched cottages, I think. And this is Camford School. Canford Manor was the home of Lady Wimborne. Over the years, the family had to sell off chunks of the estate and eventually the house itself, which became Canford School. And the bit we're going along is one of her other private estate roads to Wimborne. She had money. And here's where the road runs out. It looks a bit railway-like, but this was never a railway. It was always a road. I've never actually ridden it the other way. I've always come this direction. Don't know why. And this bridge here is the Wimborne Bypass. Now this was a railway bridge. It carried the Carson Corkscrew from Southampton through to Dorchester. And the reason it's so ornate is they didn't want anything too common. Whole long story. That's one of the gatehouses they built and that used to be the route through to Camford School. From Magna Road, it's hang a right into Miss Marpleville, past Lady Wimborne's Gaff, under the Wimborne Bypass and Ornamental Bridge, past the Willet Arms and onto the Castleman Trailway. 1.87 miles of mostly level trail. We're actually on the Castleman Trailway. What this used to be was the main railway between Southampton and Dorchester taking in all sorts of towns and villages on the way. Named the Castleman Corkscrew because of the man who planned it and the circuitous route it took. That's again the road to Wimborne from Paul. And it's dark. And the other nice bit is it's sort of a very gentle downward incline towards Paul. On my right is Broadstone Golf Course. This was actually one of the golf courses owned by the Camford Estate. The other one was down in Sandbanks, which he also used to own. Okay, so we're now on another railway line. This one used to go off to Blandford 
and the west of England. So where this leisure centre is, used to be Broadston Station. The only remaining part is the station hotel, which is just over the other side of the road. And at this point, the railway line splits into two. On my left is the Broadston uh, Relief Road, which follows the track of the old line between Broadston and Poole. And this is the Castleman still. Now you can go a little bit further along the line, which takes you in towards Upton and Hamworthy, but we're not going that way today. I'm going to go down here and onto Roman Road. Never yet fallen off here. So we're now on Roman Road that goes between Upton and Broadston. I've never yet discovered where that section goes. Let's go this way though. So this is the A35 Upton Bypass. So it's under the dual carriageway and a quick trip through Upton Country Park. The Castleman Trail from the Willet Arms to Upton Country Park via Broadstone is a glorious four miles of disused railway with a slightly downwards incline. Whoa! I've got, I've got to turn right. And we're now onto Holes Bay. So this is a bridge over the London to Dorchester line. And it's downhill now, yay. And this is the other bit I like riding, the Holes Bay cycle path. But as you can probably hear, most of the time I ride it, the wind's straight in my face. Another of my favourite rides is actually right round Holes Bay. The bit to Asda along Holes Bay is 2.47 miles. Although it's flat, there's usually a strong headwind. So it's under the railway line in Towngate Bridge, across Taxi Rank by Pool Station, heading towards Barclays House, or whatever it's going to be. And a quick spurt up Wimborne Road to home. 